There is another Chinese fortress to the south. The Ming store a lot of gunpowder there. We shall capture it to increase the power of our army. All right, so we got those are the three gunpowder stores. Hey, how are you? Noxus Flack here, and happy Monday morning. We're going to start this week off right with an Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition single player campaign video. We are playing the Vietnam campaign, and we have just finished part three of the battle for Hanoi, and we're about to start part four reaching south before we get started don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe especially if you love age of empires or just rts campaigns in general all right with that cringe out of the way with hanoi under leiloi's control the chinese retreated behind the walls of the larger towns and cities to the south there they would wait for wang tong the approaching ming general leiloi had to act quickly but he could not underestimate the ming the garrisons had large stockpiles of gunpowder, and Wang Tong's army marched at a frantic pace to reach the besieged cities. Leloi had to quickly turn his peasant rabble into a real army that could face the finest Ming soldiers in open battle. Gotta give it to the Vietnamese campaign. They are short and to the point. So looks like gunpowder is in play, and maybe they're going to let me get into the Imperial Age? Half to three gunpowder stores to the southeastern Ming fortress by destroying the keep near each respective store. Keep in mind that you need to capture and not destroy the gunpowders. You will lose if one is destroyed. Why is my population restricted to 120? Um, occupy rich with resources. <sighs> okay. If I conquer the northern area, I get resources. Chinese have subjugated many villages. As always, it is worthwhile to free occupied settlements. All right. There is another Chinese fortress to the south. The Ming store a lot of gunpowder there. We shall capture it to increase the power of our army. Alright, so we got those are the three gunpowder stores. Uh, you will scout over there. You will scout down here. You are my army. Control group 5. Not far from here is our village that provides the Ming fortress with food. Perhaps it would be wise to take control of it before attacking the southern fortress. <clears throat> is this the <a> village? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm confused. It looks like we can go to the Imperial Age. That's kind of nice. It's very nice, isn't it? Get out of here! <clears throat> if you know the enemy and know yourself, your victory will not stand in doubt. If you know heaven and know earth, you may make your victory complete. I don't know who that is. His name is Wang Tong, and he is t sounds like I'm in a philosophy class. <clears throat> All right, so we need to build some military structures. So you are going to be doing that. Let's start with cavalry, <clears throat> and then follow you up with a bunch of people who are just going to be wood choppers. <clears throat> Yes, yes, I know. Watch out for my wall of pike. Pretend to be weak so that your opponent will grow battle. So, Wang Tong is that super famous general. Got it. Oh, 
thảo dân xin chờ lâu tài Pardon me, pardon me. Okay. Dân nữ xin chào lại. Very nice. Dân phu. Máy kiến điện hạ. Nô tì. Yeah, bấm có thao dân. Certainly need more villagers. Classic. While we're here. Scout cavalry. It would be useful if my scout cavalry didn't move faster. But that's a lot of food you're asking me to come up with. Young fu. Young fu. Điện hạ có gì sai bảo? Tiểu phu. What is straight ahead? Good luck, by the way. Tiểu phu. Tiểu phu. Và yeah, bẩm có thảo dân, nô no tài Thảo dân xin chờ lần, nô no tài Điện hạ có gì sai bảo Alright, so Tôi we definitely mình. need this Dân phu Điện hạ có gì sai bảo đã rõ Máy kiến điện hiệu phu That was a clean sweep. There was nothing there. <laughs> That was very unexpected. Okay. Um That is the enemy. He has come through one of my side entrance. Not into that, by the way. Viking ding here. Viking ding man. Tiểu phu. Dạ bẩm có dân nữ. Dân phu. It's time to have some farms. Dân phu. Dạ bẩm có thảo dân. Dân phu. Dân phu. Thảo dân xin chờ lần. Tiểu phu. Điện hạ có gì sai bảo? Tiều phu Bái kiến điện hạ Bái kiến điện hạ xin làm ngay Dân phu Dạ bẩm có thảo dân xin làm ngay Dân phu Dạ bẩm có dân nữ Lao gì? Lao gì? Bái kiến điện hạ Nô tài We have a housing problem. Thảo dân xin chờ rõ Dân phu Dạ bẩm có thảo dài Dân phu Điện hạ có gì sai bảo Dân phu Bái kiến điện hạ Nô tì Dân phu Dân nữ xin chờ lệnh Dân phu Bái kiến điện hạ Dân phu Dạ bẩm có dân nữ Dân phu <coughs> the farming has begun. Thảo dân xin chờ lời. Dân phu. Dân nữ xin chờ lời. Yeah, Tiểu phu. Are you still alive? Dạ yeah, bẩm có thảo dân. Ming occupying forces. You really gotta work on your branding. Điện hạ có gì sai 
now. Zen tool. Can you just go there? Is this swamp that walkable? Điện hạ có gì sai bảo? Alright, and let's get a dân phu. Yep. Bái kiến điện hạ. Sơn nữ đến Điều ngay. Phu. Here comes the... Yep. <coughs> that is a relic. I need to be reminded of the pop cap. Okay, so we need to actually stop building villagers pretty soon here. And then, oh no, 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 grab this and then come back. What are you doing? We need a thousand food and then we will age up. Good job. Yep, market for sure is necessary. What's the weirdest place I could put it? Front door? Um, oh, that actually works. Kinda. Alright, aging up. Alright, while we age up, that's when I like to do most of my upgrades. Come on, food production, you're the ones we're counting on here. Can you not walk over here and then over here? <coughs> what about now? Perfect. There you go. No big deal. Alright, so that's enough for a castle, so we're gonna build a castle. Young <coughs> fool. And then when you're done with that, there you go. Uh, I would like the archers to fire better. I would like to build things much faster. And there goes all my food. <laughs> I did the two big food upgrades right at the start. Oh, thank goodness for the pikemen. That was a bit much. And we got the relic. is just my scout, who cares what happens. Yeah, it's all good. So, hello there, I actually need a siege workshop. Thank you. Hello, I think we need more gold. So that's what you're gonna do. Let's make my, yep. I need 300 food, just need, there we go. Lumberjack slowly generate gold. There we go. That's a that's a long game strategy right there. Obviously, we don't want this to last forever, but you never know. And we can get an 
another farmer. How young sent you along? Young fool. Young fool. And we are upgrading to Halberdier. A lot of the enemy appears to be mounted. Because now our wood choppers are gonna slowly get us gold, so why not? Yep. And we need another one. Slightly closer. <laughs> actually have you in the castle for now <clears throat> for your own protection and you'll add firing from the castle <clears throat> yeah all the gold's gone go figure Upgraded RAM. Alright, so we've run out of stone. At least near us. Supposedly there's a ton of stuff up there, so we have been encouraged to go to the north first. Captram and we're stuck at Captram, but Captram hold five people. Siege engineers sounds like a lot of fun. Can I have trebuchets? I certainly can. Uh, we are gonna want the elephants as well. They're a much more population efficient. Really, any of the other stuff? Liên hạ có gì sẽ bảo? Có tiểu nhân xin phụ mệnh. Đúng lên, tiểu nhân làm cái tuân lệnh. I mean, this at a certain point, the food situation is unbearable. I know that I'm spending it really fast, and that is my fault, but goodness gracious. You go. to have more HP. Alright, 
right, that'll be a full castle worth of them, so we're not gonna do any more than that. Battle elephants! Alright, now if I were to fill these, what'd that look like? So I need two more pikemen. Hello. So our pop cap is slightly more, so obviously we're going to use houses to bolster that wall a little. Yeah, there you go. 20 out of 20, and the elephants are getting more health. Alright, the rams are full. The goal, of course, is to go north. Oh, goodness. Alright, so we need one more house. Senfu. Senfu. Also like an elite rattan archers. All of this requires that's right, food. I do not have enough of it. <sighs> Hello, thank you for your work. We just need more food. Just be be the food production you want to see in the world. Look how I have everything but food. <sighs> so I think I'm just gonna focus on the blacksmith, and after the blacksmith, we will get the elites. So we're supposed to free this village. But first thing I'm going to take this, and then I'm going to free the village. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Look at how expensive it would be to buy food right now. It would be wrong. But we're running out of gold. Bad day. Yes, yes, I know. 
gì sai bảo hảo dân đã rõ ngư dân <cười> fish those fish <cười> So we're chopping wood with these guys because they will slowly trickle in gold, as you can see. They are assisting with the food problem temporarily, although I'm trying to click on the fishery, but don't know if that giant boost will really get me there. Bái kiến điện hạ, tiêu phu, điện hạ có gì sai bảo? Thảo dân xin chờ lần. Alright, we're at 116 out of 120 pop. I know it's been a bit of a slosh, or whatever the right word is, but uh, with a 120 population cap, I can't just dump all my population into civilians, and elephants are very expensive, specifically on food. Castle. That castle's dynamite. That is my last elephant. All right, and the blacksmith is done. The siege engineers would also be very nice because that'll actually increase the capped rams damage to buildings. And because it's only 500, we're actually going to do that one first. All right, we've reached the population cap. Elephants and. Archers, you are control group one. Start going. Control group zero, you're going to go for towers. We've hit 500 food. We will first upgrade the siege. When we get 1,000 food, which will probably happen a lot faster than we realize now that we're distracted. I will do, first I will actually do the upgraded uh, elephants. Siege engineers, upgraded. You're gonna rush the back. Alright, apparently this base is the bee's knees, so let's take it out. saying there's a lot of resources back here. I'm seeing gold. I'm seeing bushes. It seems to be more just like strategically located than anything else. Alright. Park it out here and then my weird group of woodcutters, including you. All of you do this. And then when you're done with all that strange shenanigans, Zenful. do that. Ah, oh, awkward trade cart. Oh, 
So now I want to go west. So we're going to go do that. And then... Hello. Three of you. This will be my area. And when you're done with that... Oh wow. There you go. <clears throat> we have enough food. Big day, folks. Elite battle elephants are on the way. Next big purchase will, of course, be the elite rattan archer. I have no more gold. Oh my gosh. All of you should be gold miners in case there's any confusion on that. <laughs> All right, got eight people mining. There you go. <clears throat> How's this going? Seems to be going pretty well. back home, the uh, villagers will repair you. Finally, we are rid of the mean oppressors. Thank you for that, little lord. It will be our pleasure to support your army. That's pretty cool. I don't know how they're going to support our army, but pretty cool all the same. Okay, so we've done everything else. Now we're going to turn our eye to capturing. So, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure... that I'm gonna need to use my monk. I'm not 100% sure. But they kept saying, like, at nauseam, you know, don't mess this up. Alright, we need a single woodcutter. And then when you're done, you can go back to chopping. Yeah, I don't care about that. Only one monk was rest afterwards. Yep, that was the tech I needed last week on Ozzy's special uh, custom uh, campaign. All right, so our army's getting healed. The rams are getting repaired. Monks just overwhelmed with the options of people to heal. Yeah, just stand by the entrance. Alright, the archers are going to become elites. Double checking. Uh, yep. Range units will get better. We are actually using towers. We're now using walls. Increase line of sight. Can't complain about increased line of sight. This is really holding us together. 
when that gold mine runs runs out, we're gonna we're gonna be a sad, sad panda. All right, they're attributing food, which would have been really nice earlier, but uh, that's fine. There is a gold mine down here, I am aware of it. Here we go, here we go. All right, so we're gonna hit the gate, and we need to remember that we're not destroying the gunpowder factories. We are capturing them. We are capturing, not destroying. Whatever that means. I am not above destroying every other building this guy has in order to accomplish this goal. Ignore everything else. <laughs> A king has been destroyed once, can never again come into being, nor can the dead ever be brought back to life. Seems like I don't have the tech needed to capture that building. Careful! Please be careful. Oh, this is so stressful! Dare ever touch that building. There we go. Um, yeah, that's fine. You can do that. That is totally fine. Please go over here and repair that. He who advances without seeking fame. Who retreats without escaping blame. What is this? Whose one aim is to protect his He resigned, but he's still stabbing my buildings. He's spouting poetry at me. Who is this guy? No, no, no! Oh my gosh! All oh, the terror I'm experiencing! Okay, we, got vi we have villagers on the way. We have villagers on the way. Okay, the unit producing buildings, please. And then after you attack that, go very far away. Oh. 
Yes. And we have captured a valuable gun. Destroyed his entire base. This is an important achievement, my brothers. That was a little spooky. Capturing a major citadel with its gunpowder stores intact, Leloy was able to take several key towns and hold off Wang Tong and his army. Wang Tong knew that his position was poor. So he retreated to strengthen his supply lines and replenish his forces. For now, there will be no battle. Deloy marched further south with Wang Tong and his army following closely and gaining strength. Short and sweet. <laughs> so that was part four of the Vietnam campaign. I liked that one, but my favorite mission so far was the battle at Hanoi. I loved those paths, but... That was part four, reaching south, and tomorrow will be part five, a three-pronged attack. This has been Noxus Flack. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.